Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. Today's episode is going to be about the face palming you were doing in my last episode if you know anything about these chores. Alright, I got two comments. One was from Tracy Garner and I appreciate your comment and also from, she also commented on Tracy's comment, Alexa Paul. Thank you so much. You made me research. I'm not great at these chores and you've taught me a lot today and I want to pass it along to everyone else here. All right, let's go ahead and get started and tell you what I did wrong. First off, I did all these item conduits. All right, let me get up here. We do not need these item conduits. These item conduits are bad, 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 bad. Um, drawers are set up. They have a drawer controller is what they call it. And that's all you need. Whoops, I didn't mean to kill the torch. Just get that back before mobs spawn over here. And I go, well, where are these mobs coming from? Um, these are bad. What I was saying, you see, what was I saying? Um, it comes with a drawer controller, which can control all these so basically you put it in the drawer controller and it will automatically put it in a drawer that it's connected to and as long as that drawer is connected to I can't jump over that as long as the controller is connected to the drawers right put right next to it and automatically put it in the drawer and it's really a smart controller too so it will actually look in all the drawers and if it has one already in there it will actually fill it in. If you had one that's not locked and empty, it won't put it in that one. It actually will find the ones. So it makes things even smarter. So just get started with this, this drawer controller. Here's what we need for the drawer controller right here. It's not too bad. Um, we need two comparators first off. Let's go ahead and put two here, there, and there. Then we need some another quartz, and we need some stone at the bottom. One, two. So now we have, let's go ahead and put this stuff over here so it's easier two comparators need a diamond and we also need another drawer so drawers just as i've gotten to know that recipe real well now so we got our drawer and so now we have to build our comparator uh that's not it. we're going to come back to that one in a minute. our controller drawer controller that's what it's called this is a drawer controller it's the recipe that we need the shift and question mark and we now have our drawer controller and i want to put that drawer controller i don't think it has a, a input output interface so I'm just going to put it back here where it's out of the way. And basically we're going to have it go from our ender chest right here. And then this actually will feed into all these. Now it will not feed into these because it's not touching. But we'll fix that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and finish this installation real quick of the controller. And I need to change this to insert without the lamp. Yep, the lamp's not there. And just make sure this is extract. Okay, that looks good. So let's go up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to test it real quick. We'll take a block of diamonds out. There we go. Oh, two blocks. That'll work. And since there's no pipes in the back now, it should automatically start feeding into it because it's now connected. And what it's doing is it's the um, ender chest is fed into the drawer controller, and the drawer controller takes care of all the drawers. Just go ahead and see. Um, it's not feeding. I had that problem before, and it took a few minutes, and it did get going. Let's give it just a second see if it registers them all. And while that's sitting there thinking, I'm going to go ahead and build the next thing. And it's called a trim, oak trim. And basically, it's it's just a... I think this gives us four of them. Let's go ahead and go here. Yeah, we get four oak trims. So we're going to connect this set of drawers to that set of drawers. We're 86. So hopefully it'll go in just a minute. We'll check and make sure I didn't mess something up in a minute. Now this will connect over to here. So that's what that's all about. So now we have that all connected. And did I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I connect that right. Let's go down and look. We have our extract, that's right. And our insert, yep. And it did this to me earlier. Let's go ahead and try something else real quick. Let me break this one. I'm going to put it just where it's not as many connections, not as long. And you see if that helps. There it goes. Uh, it's just a hiccup. I'm not sure what happened. But it is going now. So now everything is as good in the world. And this is, this is a beautiful thing. I like this thing. That makes things so much easier. It's a lot prettier on the back because I was going, God, that's good. All those con conduit, item conduits back there, it just looks kind of gross. So I thought, you know, that'll make things look a lot better. I could actually move these back one level 
and yeah i might do that too that way i'll have more drawers because i have a feeling after the next thing we talk about i'm gonna need more drawers because these are big drawers and these are double drawers and i have a feeling i'm gonna need more uh big drawers because there's things like the gold i want to go ahead and put in a big drawer and i'll show you why by the next thing i want to build the next thing i want to build is a uh it's a compacting drawer and that's what you have here this is all the stuff that we need for a compacting drawer um, let's go ahead and do the f easiest thing first it is another single drawer and get that done and you see what else do we need for a compacting drawer uh, right there we need two pistons and let's see let's go ahead and do this one two one two one two there we go and I always get the iron mixed up I think the irons on the other side in it we shall see. Nope, oh, I got it right that one time. Okay. Got that, got this, got this, and got this. Let's go. Is that everything? Yep. So now this thing's really cool, and I'll show you why. I am going to replace. Let's just clean out my inventory. Oh. Let's see. 215. I, I think I can get all these out. Yep. Yep, good. I'm going to go ahead and break this one. I'm going to put the comparator drawer in there. And, and then we're going to put the diamonds in there. Now what happens now is I can come in here and I can take out a single diamond. Or excuse me, a single diamond. Or I can take out a block of diamonds. Which up here, let's go ahead and close in there. And they should automatically start feeding. So basically, instead of, like right now if I need an iron ingot, I have to take one of these out. I have to break it down. And I get nine ingots. And then I don't know where to put this back in. So I'm going to change a few of these to the compacting drawers. Because that is really cool. Like I know iron and gold would be a good ones, And maybe the redstone over here. And my quartz would be in... Uh, quartz, they have a special thing for it. So I'll, I'm going to change a few of these around in between episodes. But that is so cool. And I'd like to, again, thank Tracy Gardner and Alexa Paul for, for telling me this stuff. I mean, I'm sure you're face palming yourself. All right, so I'm probably going to move these back a little bit. Oh, let me talk about that too. Let's talk about tape. Um, packing tape is a really cool thing. I have it made already. I think I've talked about it once before. I have some over here. If you break one of these drawers right now, the contents will just go everywhere. So what you do is you take the packing tape, and it only has so many uses, just like a tape measure would. And I'm going to probably move all this stuff around now because this is so cool. You just right-click on it, and now you can move it. There you go. And now I have it right here. And then I can put it wherever I want. So it, the contents don't go falling out of it. So that makes things so much easier. Packing tape is a good thing. It looks like I'm almost out of it too. Uh, does it say how many uses? I got five more uses of it. All right, my friends. That ends today's episode or this uh, little extra that we had. I'm sorry if it caused any problems to anybody. Hopefully this helps. I mean, man, this is so much nicer. Um, I'll try to put a little notation in my last video and telling everybody, hey, look at this one before you get too far ahead because, yeah, thanks again for all your help. Your comments really, really mean a lot to me, and that really does help. Again, if you haven't liked, make sure you like. Make sure you th uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, guys. Bye, guys. Ah! Da -da -da.